So you've started refining Eider for magical items in Valheim and realized that this is an extremely dangerous process, huh? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how you can set up four ITR refineries in a safe and easy pattern to get maximum efficiency out of your refineries and of course collect them all in a nice safe fashion inside a black marble chamber. So what is unique about this design is that we're going to be using the 45 degree angle boards that are semi safe if you set them up properly that will slide the ITR tier down into this black marble chamber that they can spark and shoot off all that they like and not damage or destroy anything and of course you could eventually set up a little black marble workshop right next to it with your black forge and galder table and do all your magical upgrading but to begin this build we're going to go ahead and start off with a little 5x4 black marble platform and then we're going to go ahead and raise up all the corners which is the nice thing about these big old black marble blocks you can kind of minecraft build with these things and then jump and place them and jump and place them so they go down pretty fast but after raising these bad boys three up, we're going to go ahead and run some of the diverger or iron cage right up the side or the reinforced wood, whichever your preference is. But you just need to go ahead and have some iron run up here. And I always do a little bit of overkill with the iron. Like next, I'm going to go ahead and just run cage all the way across the top here. Being sure to flip these over when I do the side so we don't have little iron spikes shooting out through. It just causes a little unnecessary roughness that we don't want at the end so next we're going to take little one by one meter blocks and we're going to pop these in the corners of each one of these walls and then we're going to run the two by ones across the bottom and pop some plinths right on top of these and we're going for some diamond black marble windows right here which i tell you what i have been digging these black marble shapes i have been i can make about 50 different designs with these things if that's something you guys want to see let me know down in the comments below and i'll be sure to accommodate so of course obvi so obviously we're just going to do the same thing on the other side and then we're good to move on to the back wall which we're just going to fill this one in solid that could eventually be our walkway to our next workshop room and then for this last wall just a regular old door with an iron gate on it nothing fancy and then pop some stairs down however you like out here and we're good to go ahead and start working up top. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and set down a little ring all the way around the outside. And this is going to be for the IT refineries or IDA refineries, however you say it. <laughs> Somebody correct me in the comments, please, so I know how to say it properly. And, and then next, we're going to go ahead and grab the IDA refineries themselves. And we're going to place these things right here in kind of a snug fashion. We're going to push the push each two into two corners allowing us to have a little one meter space on either side like an entry and an exit to the room so just keeping in mind your placement of these things and then next we're just going to go ahead and knock out the floor where the it -er will be dropping out of the refineries and make sure they make sure that it can fall freely right in front of it straight down into the room below and then we'll just grab the little two by one black marble stone and come back and fill in every spot that's not knocked out it's unfortunate there's a few patches in the floor, but it's safe to walk through. If you do have trouble falling through here, you can always put a little, a few wood boards around the edges of them, just not on the inside where they're going to fall through. But if you put them on the outside, it'll help keep you from falling in. <laughs> so next, it'll be real simple. We're going to put a little wooden boardwalk around the top of this so we can load soft tissue into these things. But it is good to note if you go with wood up here for your boardwalk instead of black marble, which it would probably be smarter, you do have to inlay this with iron. Otherwise, when you kick these refineries on, they will destroy all of this wood and rip it to shreds. So you have to reinforce it or just create this out of black marble, which I'm going with the lazy way and the more contrasty way because I like the way the wood, the wood contrasts with the black marble. So next, we'll just go ahead and get us a stairway down from here. Nothing fancy, just a little wraparound stairwell using, of course, just the wood floor for the corners and then just wrapping it around again, blending it all the way into the ground. And then just adding on some handrails and we pretty much have our refinery set up the only thing now it's missing is just the slopes to guide the it -er down into the bottom into their safe little holding spot all right so let's go ahead and load the top with soft tissue which is found from the jotun skulls in the mistlands or the little crates at the diverger outposts i'll load them up and now we'll come down here and we'll fill this up with sap from yggdrasil roots there we go. Now that these bad boys are kicked on, <clears throat> we can go ahead and grab a little one meter wood board right here and come right off the top of this, right below where the ice here is going to be coming out. 
and clip right onto here and we're trying to just cover that faucet up a little bit and then we have to put these on the sides to keep the spawn from pushing off to the side now it is good to note that if they are spawning underneath the wood there they will sit there and spark and destroy the boards but as you can see right there it just rolled down so as long as they're just rolling off of these they won't get destroyed but if you're having trouble placing them just right underneath the faucet you could always go with the stone plinth too because it has a little bit of a sharper angle on it but these work just fine you just have to get the placement just right you can't cover up too much of the faucet you can't cover up too little of it and as you can see right there that's a good shot of how much you need so as long as there's a little space underneath it the ice here will spawn on top of the 45 degree angle boards and roll straight down into the holes once you have your angle figured out you're good to go ahead and just set up your other two refineries and get cracking on producing a shit ton of i tier and like i said before this is most certainly one of the safest ways to produce this because it is contained in that bottom black marble chamber and all the sparks that shoot off will hit anything that can't destroy it of course you could do this in an open field or just on a big black marble platform but what's the fun in that when you could have an efficient little i tier refinery but hey if you guys enjoyed don't forget to hit that like comment do all that good stuff it's really appreciated and with that said i'll catch you folks in the next one